even on the most ordinary days. We went in, pick up the kids from school as normal day. An emergency can happen at any moment. He has asthma. That was the case for Guadalupe Romero, whose four-year-old son began choking last month after eating a piece of candy. And he's still pointing on me, and then I start seeing blood coming out, and I, I panic myself too. I'm like, oh my gosh, and then I start seeing his lips start getting purple. But Austin police officer Jason Wright says they train for those moments. And we respond to a lot of crisis um, <clears throat> incidents um, pretty much daily. Um, when you do that enough, you kind of are able to think, like he said, critically in uh, situations of crisis like that. He and Officer Dalton Schroeder arrived at Romero's apartment complex and immediately jumped into action. I literally saw the, the car, how he stopped it. It, I run back and I'm screaming like, no, come here, my son. And I saw him when he came down really fast, grab my baby. Using a suction device called a life vac, which Schroeder bought with his own money. We just use a suction to either dislodge it to where you can swallow it or suck it out completely. The officers were recognized by the department Wednesday, with Romero speaking about how grateful she is for the officers. Makes me sad and the same time, I think for with these two officers that got there really fast, that my son is still with me. And from little William, look at this big hug. The event closed with William receiving some special gifts, courtesy of Blue Santa. There you go, man. He started jumping in the couches, playing around, and I told him no candy no more. And now he just want Cheetos or lollipop. Reporting in Austin, Andrew Freeman. CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.